This body camera video shows police officers in Atlanta chasing down a man accused of carjacking a vehicle with a nine-year-old boy still inside. In the car to South Gordon and hold on, stand by. The boy's mother said she pulled into a parking lot, leaving her keys and her son inside. The suspect then jumped in and drove off. Check the area, South Gordon and West, West Meath. But the boy's mother was able to watch their every move because she was tracking her son's smartphone, equipped with the Find My iPhone GPS feature. Police quickly caught up with the car, arresting the suspect and rescuing her son. Experts say the number of carjackings involving children is increasing nationwide, but more of those incidents are ending with the children safe thanks to technology. We are using technology in a way to bring home children faster than ever before. We're all interconnected. We all have these devices in our pockets. The rescues are adding fuel to the debate among parents over whether to track their kids with a phone or other device. Today, the average age of kids getting their first phone is 10 years old. And they're pretty savvy at that point already because they've been on mom and dad's phone or brother and sister's tablet. It's really up to any parent really to make that decision, whether they think that their child should have a device on them that can help track their location. And another tip from experts, give an old phone to your child. Even if there's no data plan attached, the phone can at least still dial 911. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.